Yo, what's up guys? So today I'll be bringing you a Kite Dino Dick Profile. So recently in the OCG, uh, this card, Kaitoptero, was released and basically it allows dinos to have more plays uh, because it searches for polymerization and after that you can use it to fusion summon this guy um, and what this guy does is he basically searches for any fuel spell not searches but he can activate any fuel spell straight from your deck and so we can actually activate Dragonic Diagram or we can activate Lost World straight from the deck which allows you to do a number of different combos. Alright, so first I will show you the deck profile and then I will show you some basic combos. To start off, we play three Oviraptor, very straightforward, three Kytoptera, and we play three Baby Cerasaurus. So all of these cards are very important at three. So you definitely have to max out on all of them. And then we play one copy of um, Petit Pteranodon. So he's not as important as Baby Cerasaurus, but you need at least four baby effects to do your strongest combos. So you need to play at least one of them. And then we obviously play the one one conductor. Most of the time you won't summon him on the first turn, but he's helpful to go for game and to push through some very strong fields. And then we will play uh, the new Xenometeosaurus. Uh, you only play one copy of him because you mainly want to search for him or summon him straight for the deck from the deck. So one copy is enough. Then we play a level 3 Dino Tuna Monster, and that's for one of your main plays. Um, you need to play at least one of them. It doesn't matter which Dino Level 3 Tuna you use, but this just so happens to have a useful effect. It's kind of like a mini conductor. Uh, you can attack each of your opponent's monsters once each. So that's, that can be helpful if your opponent has a lot of weak monsters on their side of the field. But otherwise, he's mainly just a tuner. And then we have your level 2 Dino Wrestler Tuner. Allows you to easily go into Exile Synchro Stardust Dragon. So, definitely useful at 1. And then we have our Jirac Aeolo. So Aeolo allows you to easily go into a level 10 Synchro with your with your uh, Earth True King, Lithosagum. And then, uh, since it's the TCG, we have the one lone copy of Miscellaneous Source. Uh, Miscellaneous Source is extremely important, so fingers crossed, hopefully on the next ban list in the TCG, he goes back to three, because this deck is much better in the OCG, because there's three Miscellaneous Source. So in the OCG, it's much, much uh, stronger, but in the TCG, it's still very much playable with the one. You just have to build the deck slightly differently, but otherwise still strong. And then you have your one of Frostosaurus. So your Xeno Meteosaurus can summon your Frostosaurus straight from the deck by destroying another dinosaur monster on your side of the field. Uh, very important for some of your some of your combos. Popping a baby, summoning. Uh, your Frostosaurus, and then triggering the baby to summon another monster from the deck. So, very useful for combos. And then you have your non dino card, which is your Chu King Lithosagum the Disaster. You only need one because you mostly just want to use him in the combo, and in your hand, he only really combos with your babies, and you don't really want to have babies in hand unless you have ways to destroy them. So one of is, is fine for your combos. 
And then we have your hand traps, which are mostly just format dependent. Three Ash Blossom, three Jewel and Lockbird. Uh, you can choose not to play hand traps and just play like board breakers. So hand traps really don't matter that much, to be honest. So that's it for the monsters. Next, we'll take a look at the spell cards. Triple Fossil Dig, Mandatory, Three Ground Zeno. So mostly combo with the babies in your hand. It can allow you to also make an early run or a rank six Xyz monster. Very important card. You've got a number of Dino Tuner targets, level one, two, three, and level six. So you have a number of options and to resolve it, you can actually destroy any card in your hand. So you can destroy a card that's a brick if you want to resolve it as well. And then for consistency, you definitely want triple prosperity. Triple prosperity is mandatory. You need to play maximum, the maximum number. And then for the one-offs, Lots of one-offs. You have your polymerization, which you can search and recycle with Kite of Terror. You have uh, your Crossout Designator. That's mostly to negate John and Lockbird. You could play more copies of Crossout, but it can be bad going second. So one is fine. I think you have to play more than one hand trap negator, to be honest. Then you have your Call by the Grave. Then you have talents. Since you only have one misc, getting getting countered really hurts. So being able to draw two more cards or to look at your opponent's hand can be very helpful in many situations. Then you have your field spells. You want copy of Dragonic Diagram. I think it's limited in the TCG. You want copy of Lost World, you could play more copies of Lost World, but drawing multiples doesn't really do anything for you. And thanks to Kite of Terror, you can actually combo without Lost World. So I think one is fine. Uh, you could play two if you, if you want to, but in testing, one has been perfectly fine because you can easily get to it. And then Lastly, the one of Foolish Burial. Dumping Musk straight to the graveyard actually has some, some very good utility in this deck with uh, Kite of Terror because you could banish Misk and Kite of Terror to summon level 2 and then trigger Kite of Terror's effect to summon itself back and also add back a polymerization if it's in your graveyard or search for it if you uh, have not searched for it already. So that's it for the spell cards. No trap cards. So next we'll take a quick look at the extra deck. So in the extra deck, you have one copy of the fusion monster. Um, yeah, Kaito Pterodactyl, I think it's called. It's in Japanese, so I'm not exactly sure about the name. But he's very important. Uh, like I said before, you can activate a field spell straight from your deck. And also, he allows you to extra normal summon a dino from your hand. So you can just trigger its effect on the field, and then you can extra normal summon a dinosaur monster from your hand. And another one of his effects is he can attack directly the turn that he's summoned. So that can actually allow you to get some surprise wins on your opponents. And then for the XYZ monsters, you've got your uh, one copy of Digasto Emerald. He can recycle your engine and also he can summon Frostosaurus from the graveyard if you need to have a level 6 monster on the field for Synchro or XYZ plays. So that's very useful. Uh, and then you've got your Evolzars, the one copy of Lagia, the one copy of Doka, and then the one copy of the new, new Evolzar, Raz. So essentially his effect is you can detach two materials, but if he has dinosaur monsters, then you can detach one material, target a face-up card 
your opponent controls and then negate that target's effect. So he can basically uh, soft negate any, any card effect, which is very, very nice. And also, while he has materials, he cannot be targeted by monster effects. So that's very useful. And then uh, we have your Transcendosaurus rank 6. Since in the TCG, Misk is limited, he's very useful for recycling your, uh, your Miscellaneousaurus. So instead of going into Raz, you could summon him and then summon back your Misk from the Bally Zone, and then you could make your uh, rank 4 Evolzars. And then since Misk is in the graveyard, the next turn you can actually uh, make plays again and then you can continue to play the game. So that's very, very useful. And then the synchros. So we have one Coral Dragon. So very useful for outing uh, back row, back row cards and drawing more cards if you need to see more cards to come off. So very useful. And then we have XL Synchro Stardust Dragon. Very useful for uh, climbing up into your level 10 synchros and then you have Cyframe Lord Omega again very useful for recycling your miscellaneous source very important and also with this painter you can actually uh, rip two cards from your opponent's hand so that plays also possible in this deck which could be uh, something you can go for in some situations and then we have our Sword Soul level 10 Synchro. So we're playing this guy over Cheng Ying because you don't need to have a quick effect that banishes to trigger his effects. So he banishes a spell card and he banishes a monster. So he's essentially two negates. And the reason why you play him is because if you if you resolve Meteosaurus, then you're locked into Sea Serpents, Wyams, dragons and dinosaur summons from the extra deck so that kind of limits your options and he's one of the best that you have available so you play one copy of him in those situations and then you have your one baron very straightforward and then you have your calamity lock cards you have your crimson dragon you have obviously Calamity, and then you have your level 12 Transcendosaurus Synchro. So again, in your combo, you lock yourself into only four types of monsters, and uh, yeah, he's a dinosaur level 12 Synchro. He's very useful, especially if you can manage to destroy him and summon him from the graveyard. Basically, 3600 indestructible monster. It can be definitely hard for the opponent to out. So that's it for the main and the extra deck. So next we'll take a look at a basic combo. So the first basic combo is Kite of Terror plus Miscellaneous Saurus. So it's not in this deck, but if you want, you could play Small World with some, uh, with some bridges if you want to see Miscellaneous Saurus more, more often. That's definitely an option as well, instead of cross out designator and this card and this card. I guess you could play uh, three small world and then somehow squeeze in some some targets. Uh, that's That could be a viable option as well. But otherwise, you do still have at least four copies of Miscellaneousaurus. All right, so Kite of Terror plus Miscellaneousaurus. So you'll normal summon. And then you'll activate his effect. His effect is not trigger, it's an ignition effect. And then you'll search for polymerization. You'll activate it and then you will fusion summon your pterodactyl. Right, so on summon, she'll trigger his effect. And then you'll activate Dragonic Diagram straight from the deck. So you want to summon him in the extra monster zone because you will need all five of your main monster zones, most likely. And then from the graveyard, uh, you'll trigger Misk, and then you'll banish himself in Kite of Terror, and then you will summon 
a baby straight from the deck and then you will trigger Collective Terror's effect since you are banished you summon him back and then you add back your polymerization next you will trigger the Dragonic Diagram pop the baby add Litho straight from the deck trigger the baby to special summon Oviraptor from the deck Oviraptor's effect then you will fetch another baby right so we'll add the baby straight to the hand and now we'll use our pterodactyl's effects to extra normal summon so normal summon the baby Oviraptor, target baby target the one in the graveyard swap, trigger the baby and then you will summon Petit Pteranodon straight from the deck so now you will activate your litho you'll destroy your two babies summon litho and then you'll rip three cards from your opponent's extra deck your choice you trigger both babies and then with Petit Pteranodon you will summon Xenometeosaurus and then with baby Cerosaurus you just add one more copy of itself so now what you want to do is you want to go into an Evolzar and you can either choose Doka or Lagia so this time uh, let's just go for Doka right so now we'll activate Xenometeosaurus we'll destroy the baby and then we'll summon Frostosaurus straight from the deck then we'll trigger the baby and then we will summon our level 3 Dino Tuner right so at this point you can so at this point you can go for a level 12 synchro right so we'll go for transcend the source synchro and then we will go for crimson dragon now we can safely end our turn during our opponent's draw phase we'll activate crimson dragon We'll target our Transcender Source level 12 Synchro, return him to the extra deck, and then we will special summon Archfiend Calamity. So they can't chain to him and they can't activate any card effects for the rest of the turn. So on the field, we have yeah, on the field we basically have more than more than game, and they can't activate any effects, so essentially they can only just set a monster and then pass so now next turn we can easily otk them so let me quickly show you another combo so this one is with oviraptor and ground xeno so first you'll normal summon oviraptor and then you will search for baby cerosaurus you activate ground xeno and you will add Xenometeosaurus to your hand and then you will destroy the baby chilling one baby chilling two Xenometeosaurus you summon and then you will summon another baby so in this combo you have to summon Petit Pteranodon from the deck so what you'll do next is you'll use Oviraptor to destroy Petit Pteranodon. Summon back your baby Cerosaurus, and then you'll trigger Petit Pteranodon to summon. Right, Kytoptera. Then you'll use its effect to add polymerization to your hand. So next you'll use your Meteosaurus effect. Destroy the baby to special summon Frostosaurus from the deck. You'll trigger your baby to special summon 
Miscellaneousaurus from the deck. Then you use your poly to fusion summon your pterodactyl and then you will activate its effect. To activate Dragonic Diagram straight from your deck. And then you will use Musk Effect Engrave, banish itself, go to Terra, and then you will summon your last baby from the deck. And then you will trigger Kite of Terror, summon itself, and then you can add back your polymerization. And then you can Xe summon Evolzar Lagia or Docker. Alright, so now you'll use your, your effects to pop the baby and add Litho to your hand. And then you will trigger the baby to summon this guy. Next, you will overlay your level sixes into Raz. And then next, you will synchro summon. Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon and then you will revive your level 2 tuner and then you can either make this Potter or this guy. He's pretty useful in today's meta especially with a lot of uh, continuous spells and heal spells running around. So you've got six interruptions, two, four, six it's not a turn skip, but still very, very strong. And uh, yeah, so those are your basic two card combos. And they can vary depending on, you know, uh, what hands you draw. But most of the time, those are the plays that you'll be going for. So that's it for the video. If you like the video, please leave a comment, leave a like, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you next time.